Hey boss, welcome to the Blogger Breakthrough Podcast. I'm your host, Liz Stevenson from elizabethstevenson.com and founder of the Blogger Breakthrough Summit. In today's episode, we're going to be doing just a quick check to make sure you're blogging legally and protecting your blog. This episode is brought to you by the website Legal Templates Bundle, which includes all the essential templates you need to make sure you are protecting your blog and complying with the law. You can learn more about it at elizabethstevenson.com forward slash WLTB. So WLTB is just Website Legal Templates Bundle, the acronym. Okay, so in case you didn't know before, before I became a blogger, I was a lawyer. And long story short, my passions collided and I've since helped hundreds of bloggers figure out the legal stuff. Because while the legal stuff is super important, I truly believe that it doesn't need to be scary or hard. Uh, before we dive in, I do just need to say that while I'm an attorney, I'm not your attorney. This imp- this is for informational and educational purposes only. Because I don't know the specifics of your situation, I, this isn't legal advice. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in. First up, let's talk about complying with the law. Whether you know it or not, there are a lot of laws out there that apply to bloggers. Some are more well known than others. Um, the first probably is the General Data Protection Act, aka GDPR. There's the California Consumer Protection Act, aka CCPA. There's the Can Spam Act, and of course, there's affiliate disclosure requirements from the Federal Trade Commissions. These are just some of the federal and international laws that can apply to bloggers. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I, I have a free guide that completely walks you through all these things, which you can find at elizabethstevenson.com forward slash legal guide guide. I will link to it in the show notes. Um, but let me just quickly touch on each of these to give you an idea of what you should be doing. So let's start with GDPR. GDPR came out of the European Union, EU, after a number of companies had breaches with customer data and they just didn't tell them until years later. And I'm not saying it was just in the EU. You may recall, you know, Target and there's, I mean, there's just a bunch of companies that was like, oh yeah, two years ago, all your data was compromised. Um, it was pretty terrible of those companies. So GDPR was enacted to help keep those individual individuals that are located in the European Union more in control over their personal data. CCPA is along the same lines as GDPR, but it's out of California. So it's giving California residents more control over their data. I do want to point out that CCPA is for residents of California and GDPR is for anyone located. So you could be a U.S. citizen if you're located in Europe and GDPR is still there to help protect your data. So just kind of little technicalities. Um, The CAN-SPAM Act is the reason you need to be using an email marketing service like ConvertKit or MailerLite or whatever rather than your personal Gmail to be emailing your list. People have to opt in to get your emails, and they have to have the ability to opt out. Finally, the Federal Trade Commission, aka the FTC, um, requires that you disclose financial relationships with companies that you promote. Even if you don't think the affiliate commission or the freebie you got to review will influence you or make you have any bias, you have to give the reader the opportunity to judge that for themselves by disclosing that you receive some form of compensation. So that was a quick rundown of some of the laws it's important that bloggers know about. Now let's talk about making sure you have things in place to protect your blog um, and just to, you know, comply with those laws should something go wrong. So protecting your blog. One of the questions I see asked most is if you have to be a registered company to protect your blog. The reality is that becoming a business entity such as an LLC, which is a limited liability company, really does more to protect your personal assets. So for example, if your blog gets sued, they can't go after you for your house. So whether you want to register as a business entity with your state is really up to you. Again, I have a guide that can help you learn a little bit more. Um, There's an entire section of limited liability companies. So definitely check that out. Again, link is in the show notes. Regardless of if you're a business entity or not, you need to make sure you're covering your assets with the appropriate disclaimers and disclosures and just by following the rules. Okay, so for example, if you are in the personal finance niche, you should not be giving investment advice if you are not properly licensed. You also need to recognize that you're not perfect, so a disclaimer that the site may include errors as well as any explanation of any expertise you do or do not have helps readers understand what they get from you. If you're selling products or services, you also need to make sure your bases are covered there. Do you have a refund policy if you're using testimonials to help you sell? Do you have a disclaimer that everyone might not get the same results? These are just a few of the things to think about when it comes to protecting your blog. Um, there's also, you know, GDPR, CCPA, you need to make sure you have a privacy policy in place that explains what data you're collecting and how you're using it. Um, the bottom line is that most of the rules are simply a requirement that you be super upfront and honest about what people can expect from you and your site. 
But if you do want to dig a di- bit deeper than, you know, what we spent here, because I've, I promise to always keep these episodes short and sweet, then I do recommend you check out the guide I have for you that talks about the legal side of blogging. Again, you can access it at elizabethsteopson.com forward slash legal guide, and I will link to it in the show notes. And if hearing all this is just making your head spin, and you just want to make things easy on yourself, you can go grab the website legal templates bundle, which will cover all the basics for you. Go to elizabethsteopson.com forward slash WLTB to learn more, but it includes privacy policy template, terms and conditions template, disclosures, disclaimers, templates, cookie policy, really the stuff you need. Um, So that's it. Thanks for joining me today. I hope this episode helped you figure out what you need to do to protect your blog. Join me next week when I'll be talking about how blogging courses can actually help save you time. I'll catch you then.